With so many requests for a Jet video, I had to feature Mixwell, who helped shape the early Duelist meta with his Jet play. Mixwell was widely regarded as one of the most exciting and earliest big name players to come over from Counter-Strike. While he initially relied heavily on the Operator, Mixwell has shown impressive versatility in his playstyle on the Agent. Mixwell is a calculated player who displays strong situational awareness to go along with his excellent aiming fundamentals. His rifling ability has made him one of the most high-impact entry fraggers in the game, and that is what we will break down in this video. The round begins with Mixwell, Sage, and Killjoy pushing through Ascent's B main area to take control of the ultimate orb. The defending team actually does them a bit of a favor by walling and smoking off the line of sight and securing the Killjoy her lockdown. Mixwell and crew rotate back out towards mid, having gained information on the location of both the defending Sage and Sova on the B site. Mixwell quickly checks the catwalk entrance and then takes out a Sova recon dart before it can ping him. The defending Sova uses an early Hunter's Fury to try and gain some information, and Mixwell makes the call to go B with Killjoy's lockdown now that Sova can no longer use Hunter's Fury to counter the lockdown ultimate. Mixwell pushes around the brimstone smoke but does not immediately peek, first clearing the market and logs area with his crosshair. His Killjoy, however, charges into the open and instantly dies to a double peek from the defender spawn hallway, allowing Mixwell to peek out further and get a kill in trade. He then smokes off the defender's spawn and dashes across the alley angle when he sees a brimstone molly fly out from the site. This aggressive move is intentionally timed with the end of Killjoy's lockdown and gives Mixwell's team a much stronger position to attack from. Mixwell then re-smokes the defender spawn entrance and pushes onto the site to kill the detained Brimstone before rotating back through the site to hold Post Plant from the alleyway. With his omen pinching from the middle, Mixwell tries to push forward through the control shack into a more aggressive angle, but has to back off when the omen gets picked off and the defending Sage resurrects Sova. With the spike ticking down, Mixwell gets blocked off from his angle by the Sage Slow, and so he rotates back to the site to try and hold a push from the stairs. However, Sova dies before Mixwell can get in position to trade, and so he has to quickly drop down behind the Radiantite boxes to take cover. This little bit of movement is so important because the defenders could easily rush the site in a 2v1 now and trade him out to win the round if he stayed up in the alleyway with no cover to hide behind, and no tailwind to escape either. Mixwell actually crouches to avoid detection from the Sage who has pushed onto the site and slowly peeks out around the box to catch the Sage with her crosshair on the alley where he was just moments before. Mixwell then takes the safe approach and takes cover behind the boathouse wall instead of chasing kills to avoid giving the remaining defender any chance to clutch the round and only dashes out when the spike has reached the point of no return. Most Jet highlight clips tend to be those that feature wild, purely reaction-based outplays with Bladestorm or Operator flicks, and while Mixwell has showcased plenty of those moments as well in his gameplay, I really wanted to highlight something a bit different here. After watching several hours of his gameplay, I was very impressed with Mixwell's efficient utility usage and his clear understanding of the entire picture in a round as it develops. With intelligent positioning and, of course, excellent FPS mechanics, he is a very dangerous duelist indeed. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let me know which agent and player I should break down next time.